my favorite color in this whole journey of color in this one hour of Ms. Moos is <laughs> the color we're about to bring you in this shoe. It's called Pear. Look, you and I are both like, mm, Pear. I love you. First of all, I love a pear. Yeah. I love an ingenue, or no, it's called Anjou. I love a, there are different kinds of pears. Why am right. I telling you this? We all know this. <laughs> I love a pear, I love a juicy pear, and I love this season you're seeing designers do colors called pear, yeah. which is a fresh take on that kind of citrusy, limey color. Mm -hmm. um, but there's, here look, other colors, including Ochre, which is similar to the marigold we had earlier. Whew, 125 to go around here. Also warning you, this is another one of those very limited shoes in the show. We only had about 600 pairs to start with. 450 now remaining. Black, 100 remaining. Here is our linen. 150 to go around in linen. Pear is giving life. Four mm -hmm. dozen to go around in pear. Two things you should know, shipping for free, yes. But easy pay expiring at the end of the show or day, yes. Also, third thing you should know, cute little tapered, like wedged architectural heel that's a little stacked, just gives you some lift, about one and three eighths inches, not too high. And then I know you're gonna tell me a whole story mm -hmm. about that. The, first of all, we started out with the construction that one and three eighths inch heel has been wildly popular for us. And I think it's because it's like that sweet spot of height. It's just enough that yep. you get the lift, but it's not so much that you feel like you're on a higher heel. It doesn't feel like something that could maybe be like, oh, I'm just going to get tiresome as the day goes on. It's perfection. Um, it's also really pretty. It's sculpted the way that it's shaped. Um, it's just really, really feminine, nothing heavy. It's made to look stacked, but it's not actually. Um, you have rubberized outsole, you have traction built in on the Paris outsole. Last call. And one thing I do want to say with our outsole, already pairs yeah. outsole. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, wow. No. Yeah, sure. Um, we do, like, we've had people ask us in the past, like, oh, wait, did someone wear my pair before that? Like, I'm not sure. We promise you no one has ever worn your shoes before. This is that sort of built-in distressed. We pre-do our bottoms, and they're made to look that way. Um, but it just plays to the sense that this is worn in leather. This is leather you've had around that you found maybe in a vintage shop. You can see the color, the burnishing details in the tones. You can see that variation in the tone of the leather. Um, that is intended. That's meant to be there. That's what it's meant to look like. Buttery, buttery soft leather. This whole upper, there's no structure to it. Mm -hmm. It feels so good and so soft. But we call it a mule because you get so much great coverage. You okay. really do get a lot of leather coverage. So this is a very now, if you're looking for still a little bit more coverage on the foot, of course you have your open heel and you have the open toe. And again, we're looking at a really generous piece of elastic goring there on your instep. Um, so you get that great movability with the shoe. It's just simplicity and gorgeousness and ruching and just everything in the DNA of Ms. Moves that we do so beautifully. Last call and pair, now one dozen pairs remaining. Um, we're going to throw up the size chart. We're also going to remind you the easy pay is only good on these for 32 bucks instead of all at once on your credit card for 160 today. Um, they're going to ship for free and that's a nice little savings. The size chart is what converts you from a European to a U.S and customer service is always equipped to help you out. These are true to size. And I, I will say again, um, they are, they're as favorite to me as the big deals were, but the big deals, though similar, because they also were a slide, mm -hmm. were purely flat, by and large. These have a little bit of a lift and more top vamp coverage over the foot. So they feel a little dressier and a little elevated, but not so much so right. that like we're dealing with a four inch wedge and now we're not wearing them nearly as much. Like right. you'll just slip these on, they're amazing. Pair just sold out. You could still wear these with shorts. I love a cute little short outfit. This heel is totally approachable, which is why we did this construction because of the fact that it is such an approachable heel, but also really lends to versatility. And we, we talk all the time fashion, where we love to say, dress up, dress down. 
but there's something to it, especially when you have an investment shoe like a Ms. Moose, um, something you're going to be keeping in your footwear wardrobe for so many years. You want something that doesn't work with just sort of one style of clothing, one season. You want something that you can kind of play with different outfits, different apparel, different seasons. This is now, this is your summer months, this is carrying you into fall. Um, ochre is now last call. That's the kind of um, slightly more greenish version of the marigold we had earlier. I love the, the cream, which we call linen. Um, and then, of course, the black. And yes, if you want to know true heritage DNA for this brand, you're getting all yeah. of it in this shoe. The ruching might be the most famous thing that they're known for in shoe and in the leather manipulation is giving it that folded flavor. Um, that kind of like heel cup and then the branding with mi like everything here is the DNA of this brand to a T. In the black, four dozen remain. In the linen, 100 remain. Oh gosh, guys, please check out of your cart. <laughs> we are almost gone in these. And in the ochre, three dozen to go around. Um, please, please, please check out of your cart. I keep saying that and mean it to be true. In brands like this, when we have so few, um, you know, you, you kind of hope that you do tune in randomly on a Tuesday afternoon because by the time you wait for the weekend,